and listen to Allah. I swear. Who is swearing? Allah. I swear by the sun and its brilliance. I swear by the moon when it follows it. I swear by the day when it displays it. Allah said, I swear by the night when it envelops it. Allah said, I swear by the heaven and he who proportioned it and he who built it and he who constructed it. Allah said, I swear by the earth and he who spread it. And I swear by the soul and he who proportioned it. Your soul knows what is wrong and what is right. Your soul knows what is devilish and what is wrong, what is right. Listen to Allah. This treasures of Ramadan is only achievable by, by those who purify their souls. So purify your soul if you want to. Because listen, the treasures of Ramadan are so divine. They are, they are clean, they are pure, and it only go to pure people. To clean people, to clean hearts, to clean souls. قَدْ أَفْلَحَ مَنْ زَكَّهَا Successful is he who purifies his soul. So purify your soul and receive the, 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 the treasure. Purify your soul and receive your treasure. The treasure that Ramadan is bringing. You can never achieve it without purifying your soul. Without purifying your heart. Because Allah said, وَقَدْ خَبَّ مَنْ دَسَّهَا And failed and failing is he who corrupts the soul. So if you want to achieve the treasures of Ramadan, purify, brother, purify your soul. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, الذي لم يتخذ ولدا ولم يكن له شريك في الملك وما كان معه من إله المستحق لجميع أنواع العبادة ولذا قضى ألا نعبد إلا إياه وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له في أرضه وسمائه وأشهد أن سيدنا محمدا عبده ورسوله وصفيه من خلقه وخليله القائل أنا سيد ولد آدم ولا فخر اللهم صل وسلم وبارك عليه وعلى آله وصحبه الأتقياء البررة وعلى من هذاهم وسلك سبيلهم إلى يوم الدين وبعد My dear brother I know the situation is very hard and you are going through many tests You have many goals. You have many problems. It's killing you. You having sleepless nights due to your goals. You are so desperate. You are looking for help. Don't forget. You have Allah and he is al mujib don't forget, you have Allah and He is Al-Mujib, the one who responds to prayers. Don't forget, you have Allah, Al-Mujib, the one who responds to calls. Don't forget, you have Allah, the one who penetrates through every obstacle in order to respond to your call. Um,
أَمَّنْ يُجِيبُ الْمُضْطَرَّ إِذَا دَعَى Listen to Allah. Who responds? Who responds to the call of the desperate one when he calls upon him? Who? أَمَّنْ يُجِيبُ الْمُضْطَرَّ إِذَا دَعَى Who responds to the call of the distressed whenever he calls. And he removes the fear. And he removes the evil. And he removed the sufferings. And he removed the tribulation. And he removed the worries. And he makes you a success in the earth. He makes you successful in dunya. He makes you the success, the inheritance of the earth. He makes you stronger and firm on the earth. Is there any God along with Allah? So say, La ilaha illallah. You have no one but Allah. Is there any God along with Allah? Allah is asking a question. And your answer as a believer is to say, La ilaha illallah. So brother, say, Hasbi Allahu la ilaha illa huwa alayhi tawakkaltu wa huwa rabbul arshil azim. Allah is enough for me. I have many problems, but Allah, you are enough for me. And to you I depend and rely. There is no God but you. I bear witness and I testify and I know. So do you, brother and my sister, testify and believe. None deserve to be worshipped except him. He is one and only. I bear witness. And I bear witness. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is Allah's last and final messenger. Did you send your salutations to him today? Didn't you hear? Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi Allah and his angels are sending blessings upon him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima Say, Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala Muhammad. My dear brother, prepare for the treasures of Ramadan. Get ready for the bounties of Ramadan. Prepare for divine bounties and divine treasures. Ramadan comes with many bounties, many treasures. So prepare yourself. Prepare in receiving those treasures. Prepare yourself, get ready in receiving those bounties. Prepare yourself, get ready in receiving those blessings. Prepare yourself for the treasures of Ramadan. Brothers and sisters in faith, Ramadan is around the corner. Ramadan is coming. And it's coming with a treasure. Brothers and sisters, listen. To the one who never speaks of his desire. Listen to the one who never speaks of his desire. And you know who that is? Sayyiduna Rasulullah. As Allah said in Surah An Najm. Allah said, I swear by the stars when it goes down. I swear by the stars when it sets. When 
ما ضل صاحبكم وما غوى Your companion Muhammad did not go astray. وما ينطق عن الهوى محل الشاهد وما ينطق عن الهوى He never speaks of his desire. He never speaks of his desire. Whatever comes from Sayyiduna Rasulullah, listen to Allah. In huwa illa wahyu yuha. Whatever comes from him is a revelation revealed by Allah. So listen to him. Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. إذا دخل شهر رمضان فتحت أبواب الجنة يا الله. He said when the month of Ramadan comes, the gates of heaven are open and the gates of hell fire are closed. وصفيدت الشياطين ان the devils are chained what a treasure what a treasure so get ready for the treasures of Ramadan Ramadan is coming with treasures take another one from Sayyiduna Rasulullah قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم من صام رمضان إيمانا واحتسابا غفر له ما تقدم من ذنب. Whoever fasts Ramadan with faith and seeking its reward from Allah, all his previous sins will be forgiven. All your previous sins, what you did. Is forgiven. A sister came and took shahada on Wednesday after asking questions. And she took shahada. After that, after the program, she came to me. She said, I have a problem. Do you think God will forgive me my previous sins? Subhanallah. A new river. She just took the shahada. In less than 30 minutes, she was scared of her sin. Right here standing with her, she said, but will God forgive me though? Will he forgive me? My previous sins, what I did. I said, yes, my dear sister. Islam, the moment you take shahada, Allah wipe all your previous sins. And now she's okay. Now she's happy. And you to you, my brother, you know this already. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is reminding us and telling us when Ramadan comes and you fast with faith, seeking its reward from Allah, your previous sins will be forgiven. So get ready for the treasures of Ramadan. Prepare yourself. Get ready. Buckle up. <laughs> Get ready and receive the treasures of Ramadan. Ramadan is coming. Get ready. My dear brothers and sisters in faith, Ramadan comes with many treasures. Among the treasures of Ramadan is that in it there is a night which is better than a thousand nights. You know. Laylatul Qadir khair min alfi shahr. Right, Laylatul Qadr is better than how many months? Thousand months. What a treasure. <laughs> Get ready. Get prepared. Because you have a divine treasure. Divine treasures coming towards you. And make sure you grab it. Make sure you receive it. Make sure you will be among those who will achieve and earn this divine treasures. Ramadan is coming. Brothers and sisters, Ramadan is coming with a big treasure, a treasure that all the messengers and the prophets were 
advising their followers to have that treasure to try and make sure they receive and achieve and earn that treasure and that treasure is a taqwa <laughs> يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا كُتِبَ عَلَيْكُمُ الصِّيَامُ كَمَا كُتِبَ عَلَى الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ Oh, you who believe, كُتِبَ عَلَيْكُمُ الصِّيَامُ Fasting is prescribed upon you. كَمَا كُتِبَ عَلَى الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ As it was prescribed to those who came before you. What is the goal? What is the objective? لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ So that you may have taqwa. Taqwa. It's an expensive treasure that gives happiness in dunya and akhirah. A taqwa is an expensive treasure that gives success in dunya and akhirah. And we are people who always say, Rabbana atina fi dunya hasanatan wa fil akhirati hasanatan wa qina adhab al-nar. Some people ask only for dunya. فَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يَقُولُ رَبَّنَا أَتِنَا فِي الدُّنْيَا وَمَا لَهُ فِي الْأَخِرَةِ مِنْ خَلَاقٍ مِنْ هَلَاقٍ وَمَا لَهُ فِي الْأَخِرَةِ مِنْ هَلَاقٍ He has no nothing in the hereafter But وَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ يَقُولُ رَبَّنَا أَتِنَا فِي الدُّنْيَا حَسَنَةً وفي الآخرة حسنة وكنا عذاب النار and what gives this حسنة in دنيا and حسنة in آخرة تقوى الله that's why all the messengers and the prophets when they come to their people they advise them تقوى 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 listen to Allah سورة الشعراء كذبت قوم نوح المرسلين إذ قال لهم أخوهم نوح ألا تتكون إني لكم رسول أمين فاتقوا الله واطيعون Indeed, the people of Nuh denied the messengers. Subhanallah. Nuh is their only messenger. But Allah said they denied the messengers. Yes, because if you denied Nuh, you have denied Jesus. You have denied Sayyidina Rasulullah. You have denied Prophet Jesus. You have denied Prophet Muhammad. You have denied Prophet Moses. You have denied Prophet Abraham. If you deny one messenger, it's as if you have denied all of them. If you deny Prophet Muhammad, you have denied Jesus. If you deny Jesus, you have denied Prophet Muhammad. If you deny Moses, you have, you have denied Prophet Muhammad. If you deny Prophet Muhammad, you have de de denied Prophet Moses. Because they all came with the same message. So listen to Allah. كَذَّبَتْ قَوْمُ نُوحِنِ الْمُرْسَلِينَ Indeed, the people of Nuh, they denied the messengers. Not the messenger, not only their messenger Nuh, but they denied the messengers. What did he tell them when he came? If قَالَ لَهُمْ أَخُوهُمْ نُوحٌ أَلَا تَتَّقُونَ When their brother Nuh said to them, will you not have taqwa? إِنِّي لَكُمْ رَسُولٌ أَمِينٌ I am truly a trustworthy messenger to you. So listen, listen, listen to the message. فَاتَّقُوا اللَّهِ سُوفِيَ اللَّهِ فَاتَّقُوا اللَّهِ Have taqwa. وَعَطِيعُونَ And obey me. So they came advising their people to have what? A taqwa. Same way when Nabi Allah Hood came, Allah said, كَذَّبَتْ عَادٌ الْمُرْسَلِينَ إِذْ قَالَ لَهُمْ أَخُوهُمْ هُودٌ أَلَا تَتَّقُونَ إِنِّي لَكُمْ رَسُولٌ أَمِينٌ فَاتَّقُوا اللَّهِ وَأَطِيعُونَ ثَمُودُ نبي الله صالح when he came كَذَّبَتْ ثَمُودُ الْمُرْسَلِينَ إِذْ قال لهم أخوهم صالح ألا تتكون إني لكم رسول أمين فاتقوا الله وأطيعون سيدنا لوط عليه السلام كذبت قوم لوط المرسلين إذ قال لهم أخوهم لوط ألا تتكون إني لكم رسول أمين فاتقوا الله وأطيعون سيدنا شعيب 
كذب أصحاب الأيكة المرسلين إذ قال لهم شعيب ألا تتكون إني لكم رسول أمين فاتقوا الله وأطيعون have the fear of Allah have the fear of Allah have taqwa and Ramadan is coming to give you a taqwa because a taqwa is a great treasure that not money can buy money cannot buy a taqwa is a great treasure very expensive treasure and Ramadan is coming to give you that so that's why I said prepare yourself for the treasures of Ramadan with taqwa everything is fine with taqwa you have no fear with taqwa ala inna awliya Allah la khawfun alayhim wa lahum yahzanun alladhina amanu wa kanu yattakun Allah said if you have taqwa you have no fear in dunya you have no fear in the hereafter so my dear brothers and sisters in faith get ready for the treasures of Ramadan now brothers quickly how can you prepare yourself how do we prepare ourselves for this great pressure and treasure because we don't want to miss it it's, it's an opportunity of a lifetime we never know a brother was here last year today he's not here a sister was here last year today she's not here subhanallah what do you think you should do you that you are breathing now prepare yourself for that great treasure because nobody knows what's going to happen next none. none can tell none can tell what's going to happen next we said we have a few weeks to Ramadan we are preparing ourselves ourselves but brothers and sisters in faith only Allah knows who will see it but how do we prepare ourselves to achieving this goal, to achieving this treasure, these treasures of Ramadan? First, before I see one or two things to prepare ourselves, I want us all to know that this treasure, it is not achievable unless or except for the one who does this special thing and listen to Allah I swear who is swearing Allah I swear by the Sun and it brilliance I swear by the moon when it follows it I swear by the day when it displays it. Allah said, I swear by the night when it envelops it. Allah said, I swear by the heaven and he who proportioned it and he who built it and he who constructed it. Allah said, I swear by the earth and he who spread it. And I swear by the soul and he who proportioned it. Your soul knows what is wrong and what is right. Your soul knows what is devilish and what is, wrong, what is right. Listen to Allah. This treasures of Ramadan is only achievable by, by those who purify their souls. So purify your soul if you want to. Because listen, the treasures of Ramadan are so divine. They are, they are clean. They are pure. And it only go to pure people. To clean people. To clean hearts. To clean souls. قَدْ أَفْلَهَ مَنْ زَكَّهَ Successful is he who purifies his soul. So purify your soul and receive the, 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 the treasure. Purify your soul and receive your treasure. The treasure that Ramadan is bringing. You can never achieve it without purifying your soul. Without purifying your heart. Because Allah said, وَقَدْ خَبَّ مَنْ دَسَّهَ And failed and failing is he who corrupts the soul. 
So if you want to achieve the treasures of Ramadan, purify, brother, purify your soul. And how do you do that? Number one, ask Allah to forgive you. October. Ramadan is coming. You are getting ready for something very big. A treasure. So say, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah, wa atubu ilayhi, istighfar. Ask Allah for forgiveness. Ask him to forgive you your sins. Because you are paving way. You are cleaning the way. You are making sure there's not going to be any obstacle between you and receiving your treasure when Ramadan comes. Number two. And if you ask Allah to forgive you, he promised he will forgive you. وَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ سُوءًا أَوْ يَظْلِمْ نَفْسَهِ ثُمَّ يَسْتَغْفِرِ اللَّهِ يَجِرِ اللَّهَ غَفُورًا رَحِيمًا I love this ayah so much. It gives me hope. And so, do you, I know, Allah said, whoever does any evil or wrong his own soul, أَوْ يَظْلِمْ نَفْسَهُ or wrong his own soul and we are doing this to purify our soul because what, is it? what did Allah say whoever purifies the soul is a winner and Allah said whoever does any evil or wrong his own soul and he asks Allah to forgive him Allah said you will find me forgiving and merciful so let's ask Allah for forgiveness Ramadan is coming Number two, you want to receive the treasures of Ramadan? Ask him to forgive you. Ask her to forgive you. Ask your father to forgive you. Ask your mother to forgive you. Let's ask each other for forgiveness. Because we wrong each other every day. You see, when people come together, they wrong each other. Sometimes you know, sometimes you don't even know you step on someone's toe. But please, let's find in our hearts and forgive one another because we don't want anything to be between us and the treasures of Ramadan. Uh, and when the person comes to you, brother, find it in your heart and say, Brother, I forgive you. May Allah forgive us. Allah said, forgive. Let it go. Don't you want me to forgive you? Ya Allah, we want you to forgive us. So brother, please, if I have wronged anyone for the sake of Allah, forgive me. If I wrong anyone in any way, I don't know. Maybe I said something. Please, I ask you for the sake of Allah, have it in your heart and forgive me. And whoever does anything to me, I forgive for the sake of Allah. Do the same. Ask for forgiveness and also forgive. Because Ramadan is coming, we want to receive our treasure. May Allah grant us the treasures of Ramadan. Alhamdulillah. Wassalatu wassalamu ala Sayyidina Rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man wa ala brothers and sisters in faith. Ramadan is coming. Let's get ready for the treasures of Ramadan. I pray. May Allah give us long life to witness Ramadan. Ya Allah, we pray that we re you remove every obstacle that will stop or come between us and the treasures of Ramadan, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, we thank you and we continue to thank you, Ya Allah. We pray that you continue to bless us all, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, we lost brothers and sisters, Ya Allah. You know we ask you for forgiveness, Ya Allah, forgive them, ya Allah. Ya Allah, our brothers and sisters in Gaza, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, the children of Gaza, Ya Allah. The women, Ya Allah. The, the, the weak, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, hasbun Allah, wa ni'man wakil. Allah, help and bring peace wherever there is no peace, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, help and bring peace wherever there is no peace, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, make things easy for us, Ya Allah. Some of us are sick, Ya Allah. We pray that, Ya Allah, you heal us all, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, we pray that you make things easy for us, Ya Allah. Whoever doesn't have a job, I pray, may Allah grant you a good job, Ya Allah. May Allah grant you a good job, Ya Allah. And who those business owners, I pray, may Allah continue to bless your businesses. Ya Allah, whoever is looking for a good wife to marry, Ya Allah, I pray, a brother is looking for a wife to marry, give him a good sister, Ya Allah. Any sister who is looking, she wants to get married, Ya Allah, nobody is coming to her, Ya Allah, I pray that you send someone good to her, someone good to her who will have mercy and take good care of her, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, bless us and bless our families, Ya Allah. Brothers and sisters in faith, tomorrow, an invitation. 
here in Masjid Siddiq, Makazul Kiraat, we have a graduation where some of our students will take Shahada certificates of memorization of the Quran. Come and let's receive the blessings of Quran tomorrow. Two o'clock, inshallah, meet us here, inshallah, and be among the blessed ones receiving and listening the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I pray may Allah continue to bless you all. And our Imam, Imam Muhammad Silla, he went back home. We pray may Allah bring him back safely. May Allah protect him and his family. May Allah protect us all. Allahumma hdina wa hdibina wa ja'alna sababa liman ihtada.